Hello, we're here at AQS Quilt Week in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I'm here with our Best of Show winner, Colette Dumont from Quebec, Canada. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I know you've won some prizes with us. Have you ever won Best of Show? Yes, in one, AQS? one time. One, one time in Daytona. In Daytona Beach. Well, with the Fleur de Glace. And you have another beautiful quilt. Thank you. Yes. So let's talk about yes. it. Yes. Um, first of all, tell me how you develop a pattern that's this intricate. Uh, with all these pieces? It's very hard to tell. It's not made before. It's made by, I make one spot, one spot of the quilt, like in the center, uh -huh. and I develop the rest of the quilt after. Because sometimes we make some design and it doesn't fit after when we are doing the center. Right. So uh, the, the border, not the border, but the outside of the medallion, was uh, I was thinking of it after when I have done the, the center. And so you really tell, let the quilt tell you what needs to be added on to yes, it? Yes, yes. To add on the borders and how you bring the color from the center to into the, the next section? Yes, yes. Well, you've used a lot of different techniques and and I see right here you've done a lot of teeny tiny flying geese. <laughs> yes. Now, people would tend to think that, oh my, that wouldn't take too long. No, it's but long. You, but you've got three tiny seams that you have to do to yes. make every one of those. I made them with the paper piecing technique. Did you? Yes. Lots of paper to tear apart. And you variegated the color so yeah. it goes from dark to light. Yes. Uh, so that the, point, the light strikes Go, out. Goes out. Yes, yes that's it. It sure does. Um, you've done some beading in here too. Yeah, and it's a it's a see-through also, like uh, in the part here was the black beads, and the center you can see. Oh, and stuff. all right. So now, are you telling me that after you finish that center, you cut a hole in it to put that in not there? Not that time. Not that no. time. <laughs> I was intended to do that in the center, so I left that area not quilted. It was open. Huh? It was open, uh -huh. and I cut the background after, and I just a turn edge, with, and so and made the beading after. Well, and I know probably some of this and, and these, you probably paper piece yes. those as well. Yes, as well, you? to have a very fine points. Well, and so for the quilters out there, when they do want fine points, that's a technique they should learn yes. and have it in their, their toolbox. Yes. So that when you don't want to cut off these little points out here, the yeah. paper piecing it's helps a, you with that. It's the best, I think, technique for doing that. And oh. like uh, this part is a reverse uh, turn edge applique. And uh, like with the very fine point, uh, I found a technique to make them, because sometimes when you, tur you turn edge applique, the point seems to be round a little bit. But I found something to uh, make them very sharp. Well, and that's re that's really hard to come to that sharp of a point when you're doing yes. turned edge applique. Yes, and they are machine uh, machine applique. And then you've done some machine embroidery. Yes. Uh, for these circles. Yes. I made a. I have. A I can make my design myself for the machine embroidery, and for that part, I mean the turn edge applique. I just uh, tell the machine to stitch it, a stitch where to place them. So I know the applique, the, 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 the little, little, I mean, the, star, the little dot, little stars uh -huh. are there. And when I put the applique, well, I don't put them over, <laughs> over the, the, the flower, but not the flower, but the dots. Okay. And so do you digitize your own designs yes. for the embroidery? Yes. My goodness, talented yes. lady. Not mm -hmm. just this part, but that part too. Well, you know what? It takes a different skill set to do that. Lots of technique inside, yes. Yes. Well, and so we need to look at the edge because everybody needs to see thousands of beads form the very edge of this yes. quilt. There's black beads. Uh, they call number 11 black beads. And the the silver one 
it's the number 15 beads. They're oh, very, very tiny. tiny. Yes. Tiny. You have to have a tiny needle for that too, don't uh, you? Tiny, uh, t a tiny needle and a big, uh, good glass. <laughs> well, and now you do have another hole here where you filled it in with yes. a beaded design, yes. didn't you? Because yes. I can see my finger right through there. All right, and then you told me that the edge of the quilt actually starts right here. Yes. For the bound, the bound edge. Yes, the border is made after because I knew the size of the quilt I wanted to do. Uh -huh. So I made the border to fit right at that place. And after it was uh, uh, sewn by machine with invisible thread. Well, it's another beautiful quilt Thank and well-deserved a best of show Thank here you. at Grand Rapids. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> and do you know what? You could be the best of show winner, but you have to enter your quilts. And all of the information for the 2024 shows is available right now on AmericanQuilter.com. Just click on the contest button. And better yet, we'd love for you to come to the show and see these quilts in person, wouldn't we? Uh, yes. Yes, there's lots of beautiful quilts here. So we hope that you'll come and see us at AQS Quilt Week sometime soon.